do you do on a beautiful summer day? Well, as you can tell, I'm walking outside, enjoying the sunlight. And I'm actually doing it without crutches once more. My uh, physical therapist said, please use your, uh, use your hips a little bit more. Hi Piva, apparently I'm not used to doing so, which is, is true, so uh, I'm sort of doing uh, a little bit of the salsa while walking, because apparently that helps me to walk a little bit better. Anyway, because there's not that much sunlight over here, I do believe it's very important to take advantage of the moment, which I'm doing right now. I actually should be in a different city right now. I had an appointment with one of my clients to be present at uh, the GP's, the family doctor's. Uh, so she would actually uh, be, uh, well, you know, normally she gets rushed off and when I'm there, <laughs> they don't. <laughs> but apparently there was some sort of technical error and hence uh, the appointment wasn't registered so that was a bit of a disappointment and so here I am and I'm like okay what am I going to do right now so there are tons of things I want to do today my father would have had his birthday he isn't around anymore he uh, passed away 11 years ago um, and one of the things I still have is a collection. Uh, hang on, it's a little noisy at the moment. I don't know if the noise is too much for me to be heard. Maybe someone can tell me if that's the case. Um, yeah, people are going uh, home right now. So. I'm glad I'm not in the car. But <clears throat> he had this huge glass collection of postcards when, back in the day when uh, negatives. Look, that's me. <laughs> when negatives were still made on glass. So actually, uh, oh, thank you so much. So actually, we're talking about glass negatives, which are kind of cool. But you have to be very careful with them because they can break easily. And some of them are chipped, so the little corners are missing, which makes them a little sharp. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm not walking without his crutches today. So people don't know that I have a little bit of trouble <laughs> walking quickly and <laughs> maneuvering quickly. Anyway. Um, so part of me wanted to do something with the collection of glass negatives and then I was like yeah but it's nice weather nice weather should be taken advantage of and yesterday I, I told some people like hey one of the things I do when it's good weather is I take advantage of the opportunity and I go to a terrace nearby or wherever I am in this case it's nearby I don't know if you can see it but from here there's a rooftop with a bunny on there it's uh, so you see the sidewalk you see bicycle trail you see the road and then you see a bridge and behind the bridge is a red rooftop with a bunny on there that's where I'm going <laughs> um, no it doesn't cause pain if it would have I, I would have stopped walking altogether and I'm going to walk on the bicycle trail <laughs> a little too many people right now um, it's, it's a little getting used to but for now I'm, I'm good to go and I need to rebuild the stamina so i need to keep doing it in order to improve things and this is a safe distance it's uh, a little uh, 
it's like a little it's, it's around a kilometer or so say so, uh, a little over uh, 0.6 miles <laughs> so yeah that's that's a good thing to do so I'm thinking about taking advantage of things to do I was like yeah when I'm there I'm going to work some more one of the platforms where I need to get things done uh, today I was talking uh, to my husband and we are I guess finally working towards divorce but of course that means cleaning up too getting rid of the things that I don't want anymore and then when we talk about the legacy of my parents uh, yeah we what do I want to keep so I'm actually thinking about getting those glass negatives to the municipality here so there's a historic archive a local historic archive and it would be nice if it would end up over there I mean uh oh <laughs> this is dangerous so um, yeah so that's what I'm thinking about and because it's, it's kind of exceptional, not just because it's black and white, but you know, you see the old timers over there, uh, how people were dressed, how the city originally looked. Unfortunately, there are only a few pictures of this area here, uh, which is a shame. There's one from a, uh, I think they call it a grape winery. So where they, uh, have grapes <laughs> and they turn it into wine not sure if that's the right uh, word but yeah that's actually kind of cool so um, it's a big decision to make you know am I going to sell it for hardly anything or am I going to say this is historic value oh I need to you might myself to walk a little bit better um, so let's go and and do something about that let's keep it where it should be so actually I'm going uphill right now see that's the bridge you just saw and that always is causing me uh, a little more discomfort that's probably why I was reminded like, hey, I need to use my hips a little bit more. It's like I'm doing some salsa class, you know, going up the hill doing salsa. Well, <laughs> the arm movements, of course, are missing. And you can't see it, so you have to trust me. But the idea is there. Well, the good thing about uh, <coughs> being outside walking is that actually uh, uh, you can can hear it when I'm talking. I uh, I have a lot of mucus in my lungs. It's uh, called being an asthmatic, and with all the trees and flowers blossoming, it's gotten a little bit worse. So the good thing is, actually, with the coughing, it gets up and, uh, well, it's out of my system. So, that's nice. So, I'm almost there. I'm actually at the high point. So, that's uh, the road to the highway. That's the way to the beach. And inside, uh, the Hague and other locations. So, there is the restaurant, actually. And behind it is the beautiful <laughs> is the beautiful area where I have been uh, recording those little time lapses. So where I'm going right now is actually a location where you can go to on a boat, cycling, walking. Um, by car yeah of course by car too 
and yeah it's uh, there's some nice quiet over here of course not when there are a lot of people driving <laughs> but you know you get the idea so yeah um, for me sunlight is linked to to health vitamin D to creativity and inspiration I think those are the most important things creativity and inspiration um, it might be that the connection is going to get worse in a little bit because it might connect to the Wi-Fi from the restaurant and it sucks <laughs> I'll say it the way it is it's just not a good uh, um, good connection data is the data transfer is really bad but as you can tell that's where I went up and down again so I just did it and yes I am losing my balance a little bit I still feel like this horse putting on the show uh, you know with the legs up higher than normal oh my god look at the amount of cars yeah <laughs> i'm waiting because no way that i'm going to cross here when uh, i don't know if they will stop and they just keep coming they just keep coming you can see it so and they don't have a crossover here but we are almost there almost 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 and then i can say that I did it, so I'm just going to cross anyway because otherwise I can wait like forever <laughs> but it's funny that a place which is so quiet in the evening is so busy right now anyway, I'm here going to enjoy uh, an afternoon in the sun on the terrace and I'm going to talk to you later and please let me know what you are going to do too Choices Have you considered about That you can make choices Have you considered that you can make choices To figure out What it is that you want to do Right now So not only choices long term About your life About your work Where you want to live But also choices Which will help you make those goals come true and actually realize this these these dreams and these goals so i'm sorry i i need to put on the glasses my my eyes cannot deal with the light very well um, so one of the choices i've made recently was i'm going to show it to you is i've been cycling here so on the other side of the water there is a whole big trail going into what we call the West Lab. And you can go to neighboring villages, which is kind of cool. I like to do that. Um, I actually did it uh, when it was a little bit later. I think one was like 10 or 11 in the evening when it was already getting dark. One was like four in the morning, which was to, uh, I'm just going to try and do it anyway was to support a... Um, oh, there it is! Look! This. Isn't that nice? It's Thank you well. That's uh, what we call a, uh, a bouncer egg. <laughs> so, this is typically Dutch. It consists of um, cheese and ham and some baked tomatoes. And I asked them to bake them thoroughly, which of course they didn't do. So now I can't eat it. That's a shame, you know, if you ask for one thing and then they don't do it. So yeah, no tomatoes for me today. <laughs> anyway, um, choices, you can only, you can only experience the result of a choice like right now in the present. You can't redo it. You, of course, you can make a different choice the next time around. But you can't make up for the time lost. 
at this very moment. So yeah, I do believe that when it comes to choices, it's so important to actually figure out, hey, what is what I'm doing and what I want to do and what do I want to use my time for? So one of the things I I am experiencing right now is my my whole body is throbbing, sort of. That basically means I'm tired, really tired. And if I were to lay my head on the pillow, I will fall asleep. Um, no matter where I am, how noisy it is, I will fall asleep. Um, because my body's actually telling me like, hey, you need more sleep. I know, that's the way it is. I, I didn't sleep that much. I was awake most of the night. I went to see a friend, um, which was nice because she, we, we can talk about things, you know, we can talk, tell one another what's going on in our lives, in our minds, at work. Um, we can ask one another for advice. And so, ah, hang on. I'm telling them I can show the environment, that's why I relocated. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, El. Green iced tea. When it's good weather, I like to have tea instead of latte. So people might think, hey, that's different. Uh, yeah, that's true, it is. Um, getting back to the choices. I was like, yeah, I can sleep right now. <laughs> oh, it was tempting to sleep, but I was like, no, sunlight, sunlight. Nice weather. I still haven't worn any shorts um, because it's too cold, too early. Um, so in a couple of hours, it's, it's going to get cold. So my, let's see what my watch says. That's why I'm looking at my watch. So it's showing what I just uh, did. So heart rate. And the trail I just walked. And I, I know it's, it's getting to, to a temp that uh, you really need to put on a jacket when, when the sun is going down. Even before the sun is, has um, set, it's already cold. So it's literally the warmth that we need right now in order to take advantage. But well, it works, judging by uh, the color of my skin. I've got a tan. So, um, and yesterday I did sit in the sunlight too, when I, um, I had to renew my driver's license downtown. So I was like, oh, I'm going to sit on the terrace and I actually got some work done working on uh, a specific platform, which is needed in order to get my courses in there. And also, so the people who now get group coaching from me can actually see um, what's going on. So, yeah, um, well, of course, they know what's going on because they are there during the, the weekly sessions, but they can also watch it back. And for those who didn't attend, they can actually see it again. It's a whole bunch of work and being here takes away so much of the distraction. Well, if they don't bring <laughs> food and all that stuff. Okay, yeah, I, I'm going to eat in a little bit. I just want to show you one more time what it looks like here because I do believe it's very pretty over here. And that's one of the reasons why I like going here. And I guess uh, the same applies to all the other people here. But again, choices. You can make up for lost time. You can think about choices. And if you make the wrong choice, you can do it again. So I guess that's, um, yeah. It's, it's important to think about what it is, what do you want to achieve in the future. And with me knowing that things will change, it's now we, we spoke about it. I'm like, okay, I need to get clarity. What do I want to hold on to? What do I want to get rid of? Um, I mean, if moving is in the, in the near future, and that also is about, okay, so, what do I want to hold on to? What is it going to look like? What do I actually need right now? So, yeah, I guess it all comes back to clarity. I recently did clarity challenge. I might actually do it again for Father's Day this time around because I got some good responses. Um, so yeah, 
Jewish Sinclarity, they are intertwined. Anyway, I am going to enjoy my food before it's cold again. And I'm going to enjoy my cold beverage. And I will talk to you later. But in the meantime, think about the choices you are making. And what would you like to change? And what are you proud of that you are doing? Let me know. Choices when you have an ADHD mind. That's challenging. So, yeah, I am one of those people who actually um, have to deal with ADHD. Um, specifically being hyper, so apparently I can concentrate, but I do go from left to right, up and down, back and forth. And those who know me can tell you that that's actually the case. So you have seen me walk over here, be here. Um, I've eaten by now. Uh, oh, I've got my latte, which is nice. And in the meantime, I'm uh, actually working on stuff. There, you can see it. I'm uh, uploading my... Um, um, YouTube, my podcast actually on YouTube, and here's the thing, I said I'm going to work on my platform, which I have been doing, so in order to get modules out there, I had to check what's on YouTube, what the description is on YouTube, and what's on Instagram, and what the what actually the description is on Instagram. Also, I have to check, do I already have end cards on there? So that's a good thing when it comes to YouTube, but the end cards are not necessarily needed when it comes to the course, because, well, of course I can make sure that one goes to the next module, but I don't know, it's, it's still new. It's new platform, so I need to figure out how it works. So they want you to put the description in there, which totally makes sense. And then I realized when I was looking at the description that the post I'd uploaded to YouTube from Instagram was never published. So it had remained private, probably because I hadn't put the end card on there just yet. Well, I looked at it, there was an end card on there, but that was related actually to the whole course and the course is now available for $37 so it's not uh, the, the, the end of the world but it means that I cannot show it publicly that doesn't make sense so from there on I went to like okay but hang on um, there was something with a podcast too and that's where it goes haywire in my brain so one moment i'm uploading stuff the next moment i'm in youtube studio and then i got distracted because it said oh you can actually do stuff and um, create a podcast well apparently i have created one podcast per video which of course is not what i was supposed to be doing I'm still learning how to deal with everything uh, in YouTube and especially in YouTube studio. But I was so frustrated last time because last time I wanted to upload that video, I did upload the video, which is basically spoken. And I was like, hey, why can't I get it to the podcast? But now I, I'm seeing it. So there it is. And well, I was waiting actually for uh, the podcast to be uploaded. So I went from creating a course in Kajabi on the platform, in the platform, on the platform, hmm, on the, in, the, in the Kajabi app, on the Kajabi platform. <laughs> and well, and that's it, you know, complete utter distraction again. So there are these, all of these are useful things. So when it comes to choices, it's still okay because that stuff needs to get out there. Otherwise I can record all I want, but if you can see it or you can't access it, then what's the use? So yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. But it, it's like, I was supposed to be uploading that course or whatever I'd be doing. Okay, I started with the course and then I ended with the podcast. And basically that's how my mind works. 
so I'm looking at it it's it has been uploaded so that's the good thing um, I yesterday I actually got unlimited data on my uh, iPad which is a nice thing it they, they had some deals so I was like okay well, let's take advantage of it and actually the deal started like Monday and yesterday was Tuesday so that was pretty cool to figure out like hey because years it years on end they had told me don't change your subscription which basically was one gigabyte because I can always use my phone but like right now it's actually kind of cool to be able to use unlimited data on my iPad because that means that I can work basically all over so so right now what I'm doing is I'm keeping you up to date uh, from time to time on the choices I'm making right now basically on the work I'm doing right now and yeah this has to do with being distracted <laughs> so in the end I will be uh, uploading all the videos as one video about choices and hopefully you will recognize a thing or two yourself about what happens when you want to work on something how things can distract you and what to do about it so for me i know i'm less distracted when i'm here when i would be back at base as i call at the studio then i i could do tons of other things and yes one can say but yeah you're at a restaurant here and all that stuff but you know even so I, I take a break when, I, when I'm eating, when I was eating, and right now, you know, I've got the latte here and I'm like, okay, I'm waiting anyway, so I might as well record the video. And I'm actually looking forward, I'll say, to the end product, because I learned something <laughs> new in YouTube, which is um, was a thank you to Peter Ong. So he used YouTube Buddy on my videos recently. Well, I registered to YouTube Buddy too, but still I don't see it anywhere here on YouTube Studio. But he showed me, he shared his screen. And one of the things is you can actually put uh, chapters in your video. And it was like, oh, that's cool. So apparently that really works very well for YouTube. So I was like, okay, let's get those chapters in there. But then, of course, it makes more sense if I record little videos and I put them after one another and create them into one long video. So that's basically what I'm doing. And I'm still sticking to the topic of choices, but I'm trying to look at it from a different angle every moment that I'm actually talking about those choices. So right now it's about the concentration angle as in ADHD me being hyper going all over the place and well that's why i said like right now um i am busy in youtube studio because it's so much easier if i have to upload content to one platform to check the other platform like what's the description i already have on there so i can reuse it but i also wanted to make sure that all the descriptions and everything I've said is actually bundled together so I can um, find it back pretty quickly and of course this being a course it's also nice if the transcriptions are actually also available there so I want people not only to be able to watch the video but to actually have like a PDF, a handout where they can look for the most important things and also the things which are talked about in the video. I mean, if we do it, let's do it the best way we can, right? But that means going back and forth, uh, going back and forth between apps. And one of the things I learned and which I actually like a lot in, in YouTube Studio is they have a possibility for subtitles in there so there are no capitals there are only commas and dots and sometimes they they misspell certain things so for the videos i'm just like okay let's make sure that they spell lexi the way they should and they do other things but as for the and and i don't 
change all the things. I'm not going to add any capitals. It's, you know, it's easy that subtitles are there. But what I also do is I select it all, copy and paste it. So I actually have the text in front of me and then I can change it and I can use it for blog post or whatever it is. So it's actually a very convenient tool. Having said so, it did make me go from uploading things to the course to actually going to YouTube, uploading something in a podcast over there, uh, which I just did. And actually it's scheduled for a premiere because they want some other stuff on there too. And I was like, okay, yeah, I can probably do the end card, but I'm not going to do it now because I'm still working on that course. So, you know, those are the, 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 the choices and the challenges I am dealing with, you know, me being the person that goes from left to right, back and forth and up and down. What I have learned, knowing that I'm like that, is I always get back to the original topic. So the, the, the people who are listening in, they sh probably can confirm I do get back to, okay, so I started out talking about this, so let's get back to this. So I might take you uh, across the world, <laughs> you know, <laughs> to all these different countries, matter of speech. But it's in the end, I always return where I started. And that's what I did just now too. Anyway, uh, everything has been uploaded. It has been checked, so that's good. So I can go back to actually uploading the whole stuff on, uh, on Kajabi. So get moving again. Uh, it's valuable time and I know myself. There is going to be a reason why I am going to be distracted later on and not do it. Even if it's only because I have to do another coaching call. Well, I have to. I like doing coaching calls, so that's a good thing. Um, but yes, while I am at it, while I have the momentum, uh, I want, and also I've got a very good reason for it. Because for a week on end now, I've been saying, yeah, I'm busy get those courses out there for you so you can watch them <laughs> and I'm like oh it takes like forever but yeah it's a new system and it's so I'm, I'm really trying to get the hang of it and you know working it on it every day it gets a little bit easier every day and so I guess this is about not giving up and then we get back to the choices I can make the choice to say okay you know, I'm going to let everyone down or I'm going to say, no, hang on, I'm not, because I promised them they could see it, you know, they can watch everything back. So they may have to wait a little bit longer, but at least let's get it done. So that's what I'm doing right now. Anyway, um, I'll be talking to you in a little bit later. And if you are getting a little bit curious about uh, the whole group coaching, and also about the clarity challenge, then you might want to hit me up and say, hey Lexi, what is that? Of course, if you've already joined the clarity challenge or you're part of my group coaching, then you don't have to. But if you're not and you're curious, then uh, find me and then I'll share with you what you can expect and uh, what you can get out of it. So talk in a bit. Choices when you have an ADHD brain. That's what I talked about just now. And I'm going to continue talking about choices when you have an ADHD brain. I'm here at a restaurant. I'm working. And I'm uploading stuff right now. I'm creating a course. Well, actually, the course has been created. But now I need to make sure that it's also accessible other than just videos some on instagram and some on youtube so that's what i'm doing but oh my god it means i'm waiting all the time and i'm so not good at waiting so fortunately for me i still have something to drink now non-alcoholic so uh, and it's good weather so that's that's nice but oh my god I'm so horrible when it comes to waiting, waiting, waiting some more. So, um, 
actually it just went from 50% to 100% in uh, I guess the system hurt me but that's also when it comes to choices what do you do when you're waiting and I was like okay let's make the most of it so that's why I went live again so for those who have followed me earlier today I'm actually recording today as a step-by-step -step when it comes to choices and what I've done and when it came to choices in order to make the most of my day so a while ago I talked about the 80-20 rule and I'm not talking about the Pareto analysis or whatever you want to call it. It was about what if we focus on the 20% that's the most important and spend 80% of our time on that 20% which actually matters instead of spending most of our time on the 80% which doesn't matter and not having much focus left to work on, on all the other stuff so that's what i've been trying to do lately well not only trying i it is what i have been doing lately and well as part of it i am focusing on, on getting uh, my my courses out there getting the group coaching really well done i mean one-on-one -on -one coaching is is easy at least for me it's easy i mean I either see people or I pick up the phone. Sometimes I do a video call. It all depends on who I'm talking to. And I, you know, it, it, I just get going, you know, especially when I've seen and talked to people a number of times, then I, I just know what's going on and what they've been doing. So I hardly need to look at my notes ever again. But when I do online uh, coaching, I do like to actually send the homework, even though with my ADHD brain, I do forget it because something else gets my attention. And then I'll look back like, oh, hey, what did we discuss? So I love those people out there. Hey, and there is Chris. Oh, that's so good to see you. Um, who actually asked me a lot of questions in between. Oh, I'm very curious how Chris is doing. Um, but yeah, it's it's that makes life a little bit easier because then you, you remain in the flow. And I actually can appreciate that people who are thinking about, hey, what do I do with what she has told me, what she has asked me, what I have been thinking about. Um, those are the best ones out there, <laughs> I'll honestly say. Anyway. That doesn't mean that I, I don't like the people who don't ask questions and who fall behind on the schedule. I mean, uh, with the brain of mine, I know how easily that can happen. So, um, no judgment there. It's actually a good reason to figure out why are people not doing what they said they were going to do. So, what's their excuse? What's their reason? And especially what's going on behind their excuse and their reason? Because usually it's about something that's not said, but which is of, of the essence. And we need to figure out what keeps people from doing certain things, especially when they said they're going to do it in order for them to make progress. Well, that's the part that I wanted to share right now. Like, what do you do when you're waiting, when it comes to making choices? And again, I like to make the most of, of things. So it can be very efficient when I'm not too distracted. And maybe because the brain goes all over the place, I am actually being very efficient because I cannot sit still. So I have to do something anyway. Anyway, what do you do when you have to wait? Do you uh, just, you know, um, what is it called? Sobble your thumbs? No, it's called differently. Oh, these are the moments, you know, that I'm like, I know the expression, but I really would have to look it up. Doesn't really matter. Um, you get what I'm saying. Are you doing something useful or are you not? Let me know. Okay, later. There's nothing like going live and then 
being paused like three times because of a poor connection. Well, that's the result of me walking back. So I'm disconnecting from the Wi-Fi. Well, actually, I'm still on the Wi-Fi, so that's not good. And uh, I have to say, I'm happy. I've been recording about choices while I want to work on what matters. The choice to change my data subscription for my iPad. Core connection, some more. Um, how shall I say this? Support, I guess that's the word. More support. So, actually, I had a conversation with multiple people. Yeah, I like multitasking, and in the meantime, I was uploading things, figuring out things, new platform, all that stuff. And well, I've rested, so now I can walk back again and. I cannot tell you how good it feels to actually be able to walk without needing my crutches. And of course, I won't know what it really feels like until I'm back. But you know, sitting down for a little while, doing things that I needed to do, was actually quite nice. So, um, I have to say, I, I've been talking a lot lately, the last couple of months, about focus, about clarity, about goals and dreams, about cleaning up chaos, chaos, clutter in your mind, clutter in your life. And you know, it's all related to one another. I mean, the choices that you make, they are affected by what has happened in the past, your experiences, how you've been raised, how you've been taught how to handle certain things, and of course, the circumstances. And well, recently I've had to that always some circumstances, some related to me being able to walk or not being able to walk, some being related to me wanting to play drums and then running into the fact that I once asked or said to a house guest you can stay but she never left <laughs> and well uh, I have to assume that she gets the message, whereas I know that she doesn't get it. So there's a lot of commotion going back and forth. And of course, I don't want to scream and shout. I want to keep my dignity. But then again, I also want to get across like, hey, it's still my house. <laughs> and I want to take your health into consideration. So whenever I play drums, it's at the expense of her health. And I don't want it to be at her expense. But yeah, then she needs to give me the chance to actually um, play drums while she's not there. So basically, move. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. Yeah, oh, it sounds all so easy, you know, when you talk about it. But when it's actually being done, it's not so uh, easy. So the choice I've made is I need to... I need to start over, not my life, but I need to start over when it comes to where I live. And well, you know, when my parents passed away, there was nothing keeping me like in this country. But then again, where do I go, go to? It's not like it's, you know, I want to live somewhere where it's warm. That's for one. Where I have the freedom to do stuff. And yes, I would love to live in, say, Florida or California or, you know, one of those places where it's good weather 24 7. Would be really nice, but 
Now it also requires that I go to the next level. Next level when it comes to um, professionalism, I guess, my business. And apart from that, you know, uh, with me being a little over 50 and never having thought that I would ever get over 50, I'm like, I don't know what's going to happen in the future. I mean, I've been able to walk, then not to walk, to walk again, not being able to walk again. I'm able to walk again right now, but you know, at other moments, especially when um, the street is not flat or not even, um, yeah, then I need my crutches, of course. But it all comes back to choices once more. So now that there's more clarity about, okay, I need to choose for myself. I need to find a new place to live. I cannot take everything with me. That doesn't make sense. And I don't want that either, by the way. So when I talked about the cleanup challenge, I already said like, hey, I've got too much stuff, especially for my parents, emotional attachment, afraid to throw it away. And well, today my, my dad would have had his birthday. And well, actually I, I haven't even reached out to my brother or my sister about it. They probably know. We celebrated his birthday together with my mom's on um, May 5th. So yeah, it's not like today. It was particularly the day that we uh, would have gone over to my parents, but we would have called, you know. But yeah, it's, it's about what do I let go? So when I was walking over to the restaurant, I was talking about these glass negatives, which uh, contain very specific, specific uh, photos from the Hague in an environment from well around the time from the World War II. And it's unique, it's unique, but what am I going to do with it? Because, well, go find a collector in this day and age. So I was thinking about scanning all that stuff, but it's way too much. And I was also thinking about trying to figure out what it all is, but I won't, I won't be able to do that either. I nearly killed myself. <laughs> I'm way too distracted to just talk on the phone <laughs> and then cross the street, you know, cyclist alert, biker alert. You know, those things are important. So I really need to go get back to basics and figure out, okay, what do I want to hold on to? What's the use for having it long term? And aren't there other people out there who can do things better than I can? And I know there is someone dying to get his hands on the collection. So maybe I'll reach out to him and say, okay, let's sit together, see if we can recognize certain things. But I also know there is a reporter in one of the papers, the newspapers, who writes about um, the Hague and what it was like. And actually, I would like to reach out to him and see what can be done. So I'm not sure if I have to consult with my siblings. I mean, there has been a lot of fighting going back and forth. And I'm not looking forward to more fighting. So, but I also wanted to have a good destination. And also, there's a lot of stuff I haven't looked at for years. And, you know, back in the days, it was all paper. Now, of course, everything is digital and a lot of stuff which was new back in the day. That's not new anymore. It's been uh, either updated or it's been repeated time and time again. Maybe not by person number one, but then by person number two up till number 15. 
So, I guess that when it comes to those kind of things, you should probably just get the whole thing, get a container and just put it in there. Uh, but I'm one of those people who's emotionally attached to things. It could be the result of my parents having gone through World War II. Of course, back then you needed to hang on to everything. So that's what I've been raised with. You don't just throw things away, you just don't. And growing up, there wasn't much money. So it was kind of weird when I started working and then living together and later got married. And both of us had a good income, the both of us, to actually throw stuff away. But yeah, when it comes to clutter, um, the thing is, I know I can live out of a backpack, basically. It's what I do every time I go to a restaurant or when I go on holiday. I mean, I need my charger, I need my pens for my iPad, my iPad, maybe my MacBook, um, my phone, a notebook, an actual pencil, you know, what we had back in the days. Um, just the basic stuff and of course in my case also my medication because I've got a ton of allergies so I also have my medical papers with me all the time because when I go to an airport I need to take a lot of stuff with me um, but apart from that you know now Of course, it's not the actual texture, but still, you know, it's uh, there's there's a lot we don't need to do like we did back in the days. So yes, I've been building a bit of Lego lately, uh, which is quite cool. But of course, also that doesn't need to be taken with me. It's just nice to uh, actually. Uh, play with it, create things, you know, it's the, uh, my friend has two kids and we like to do stuff with it and the function for me is actual reminders, but if it came down to it, I could take some pictures, maybe a video and then say to my friend, you know what, <laughs> enjoy the stuff and uh, that's about it, you know, and the kids can play with the parts, that's the good thing about Lego you can just take it uh, apart and then use it again anyway when it comes to choices about clarity about goals and dreams it's so important to remember what you're doing it for it's something i remind myself every day what am i doing things for what do i want to achieve well i want to get that legacy out there the ripple effect so people learn that it's okay to speak up and just now i got this message from someone who said oh my little brother 14 years old he's being bullied because of his skin and he's smarter than others and i said well let's go create a video together and show it in his class and then hopefully things can change anyway um if you're curious about the whole video so what started with me going there and ending with me being back when it's related to choices and then check it out on Lady Lexi Speaks Up on YouTube it'll be there in a little while I'll still need to edit it put an end card to it and before I do I've got another coaching call to do but if you're curious about stuff then uh, go check me out on there do you want to get more clarity about clarity? Then click on that next video because there are tons of more videos giving you more insight about clarity.